Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Debian 12 Bookworm, which is the latest version of Debian that's out there. And one of the things that um, uh, I find interesting about it, it's, it's the base for a lot of things, but yet at the same time, I think a lot of those uh, distributions that have come from it are actually better in a lot of ways. Um, it, it's a hard thing to say something like that. Debian's a really good distribution. I mean, you've got things that are Debian-based. you got things that are Arch-based. I mean, it seems to be that more of the regular desktop users, I think, and I may be wrong, would gravitate towards Debian-based stuff. Uh, that being said, uh, if you were more of a hobbyist or maybe more of a person who uh, looks at Linux as something to play around with and tinker, then you might be an Arch person. So if you're coming from Windows to Linux, I think probably the easiest way to do it would be something that's Debian-based. Debian could be one of those things that you use, although I think all those children of Debian, those distributions, have taken it to another level. And... Uh, kind of in some ways left Debian behind in a sense that it's it's not as pretty, it's not as nice, that type of thing. Uh, so this is what I think I run into. This is the feeling I get. Uh, I ran this in XFCE. This is an XFCE desktop. And if you're coming from Windows to Linux, uh, just think of it this way. Uh, you pick a distribution and you pick a desktop with it. Um, sometimes the, distribu the distribution is the desktop, more or less, or sometimes you can make changes on that. One of the nice things with Debian 12, you can go in, although the, the installation process looks a little bit kind of archaic and kind of ho-hum, it's... It's not as good as some of the others, uh, but you can have the option to install all these different desktops. And the reason I think that might be important is because a lot of us, when we're trying out Linux and playing around with it, I think we eventually want to try different desktops. Well, with Debian, if you go in there and just install it right from the beginning, it gives you an option. So... You can install XFCE, KDE Plasma, GNOME, um, just Cinnamon, uh, all the different desktops. There's about eight or nine of them listed there. And if you install all those, it's going to install those desktops with all the different programs that are pertinent to those desktops. Because usually there's something else like KDE Plasma will have some different programs than... Um, you know, cinnamon or whatever. So there's different ways to uh, tackle things. But one of the reasons why that's a good reason to do it is that you can switch back and forth. So all you got to do is if you're in Debian, uh, you would just log out and then log back in. But you would log out and there's a little uh, icon up on the top right hand that you can... Uh, uh, change it to whatever desktop you want, then just log in like normal. It doesn't matter. And one of the other nice things about it, like this, I installed OBS, and I'm using this on Debian XFCE desktop. Uh, and I did that because uh, <laughs> I tried it on Cinnamon, and it didn't work so well. It was kind of lagging, that type of thing. So I did it on the XFCE, and it's much better. So I was pretty happy about that. It was... It, wasn't syncing up right in cinnamon now it does with xfc so whatever there was something it didn't like and i don't think it was that so much as had something to do with a resource management that type of thing or buffering uh, but you can go in and try all these different desktops and maybe if you're coming from windows and saying i'm going to try linux uh, debian may be a good stop for you because it's got kind of everything. It's kind of like a Swiss army knife of distributions. And it's what a lot of other distributions are based off of. 
so it makes some sense. Would this be something that uh, I would use as a daily thing, day in, day out? No, because I think some of the uh, the spawn of this, like your Ubuntu's and uh, Mint and MX Linux, uh, all these different distributions, I think do a better job and pretty up the desktop to a point that uh, I wouldn't go to something like this because in some ways this feels a little bit archaic even though this is XFCE and you would think okay it's a lightweight desktop but if you go into MX Linux and use their uh, XFCE desktop much better uh, you'll get things like this basically if you notice um, some of the uh, little things like uh, uh, just the text, uh, I can tell you, MX Linux, it just looks cleaner. It looks more defined. The definition is much better on the text. I just think it is. Uh, but it will have a lot of the same programs, be very similar. But it will also have some other things too, like their MX tools, which could be like some of the, the stuff that you have here. Uh, one of the other things, though, that I did... Uh, I installed the KDE Plasma desktop, and in doing so, uh, I was able to uh, get the uh, the package manager, the Discover uh, package manager. Now, let me look for it here. Let's see. Where is it? Discover. So there it is. It comes up. And this is the way I like package managers. I like something with icons. I like something that isn't text-based. Uh, I don't really like Synaptic Package Manager or uh, the other one, G, Debbie. Uh, I, you know, this is what I like. But if I didn't install the KDE Plasma desktop, this wouldn't be on here. So... But one of the nice things about going back and forth between different desktops, not only do you get to try them, but then uh, know that if you installed something in one desktop, it's going to show up in the other one too. Uh, it's not like it's, it's separate, like a separate drive or anything like that. You're going to have the same programs come up and all those settings that you have in those programs are going to also be there. So it's just a matter of putting a different mask on the operating system. That's really all it is. And with Debian, you can do that all in one distribution. Probably one of its nicest advantages. And it's, like I said, I think it's a Swiss Army knife of a lot of uh, distributions. It just, uh, you know, like I can, I can use all sorts of different desktops. I can use different programs, that type of thing. And I'm not coming at this from a highly technical person's aspect. I'm not doing that. I'm not a hobbyist, like a person that wants to tinker with lines of code and things like that. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in something that's going to work for a, a daily driver, somebody who is just into this to have a better operating system so they can get work done so they can do the things they need to do and not uh, have all those problems that were associated with windows which is where i come from so for me it's always probably going to be debian based even though i know there's arch out there uh, arch uh, linux distributions but i'm not going to go that route on a daily basis this does come with uh, uh, LibreOffice, which is always something that is available uh, on almost any distribution, and it works well pretty much anywhere. So that's going to be on there. It's going to come with uh, GIMP, you know, if you're using some basic things like uh, image manipulation, that type of thing. You're going to have that capability as well. Uh, did I put PhotoFlare on here? I did. I really like PhotoFlare, and just a very simple image manipulation program. When I think about what people use a desktop for, sometimes it might be images, a document, a spreadsheet. I mean, all these basic things, a browser, and 
that type of thing. And uh, that's kind of a, a thing that people, uh, just everyday users would want. So it meets all that criteria with this XFC desktop. It meets it with Cinnamon, KDE Plasma, which is real great. Um, and uh, I whipped into KDE Plasma um, earlier just to see you know, how it would function. And it just looks like KDE Plasma. So, But you're going to get a good solid base, something that's going to be uh, reliable and trustworthy as an operating system uh, because you know so many people depend on Debian and uh, it, so kudos to them they, they make something that's really solid and that people can use and and play around with and make their own distributions but is it something that I would use on a daily basis no because I think there's better things out there like mint or MX Linux uh, any number of things, Ubuntu, of course. And I, I think they're all uh, really an improvement over the look of Debian. So anyway, uh, all the basic stuff is there. Uh, you can do this. You could use this as a daily driver and uh, you know do just about anything you wanted to do. Uh, if you would have showed me this the way it is today, uh, 12 years ago, I would have done backflips and I would have said, this is fantastic. Uh, but these days, because there's other options out there that are more serious about uh, taking care of people coming from Windows and going to Linux, I, I think those might work out better, especially for a first time user, that type of thing. This, you know, Debian is even on the install. If you were a brand new user, it might be a little bit um, intimidating, even though it's not, but it might be. It's much easier with those other distributions. They're just much better, even on the install. And first impressions are important, so I, I think that's uh, part of the issue as well. I think Debian is made more for, and, and Debian-based distributions are made for uh, people that are just regular users, that type of thing. And then you'll have the people that tend to be arch. They tend to be more into the minutiae of stuff, although there's a lot of people in Debian that are too. So, you know, it's it's a matter of what you think you want. And, you know, if if you want a basic thing that's going to run a desktop and do a bunch of different things and get programs you want, there's quite a few Debian distributions that are really good. And I th I like Linux Mint. I like MX Linux. Uh, Ubuntu, too. Uh, uh, Debian itself, even though it's what everything's based on, uh, probably not my favorite, even though it looks okay. But it doesn't look as good as those others. And aesthetics do matter. You know, they do matter. And uh, you want to feel good when you're when you're doing your everyday stuff that it looks really good because you got to stare at it all day long if you're working so um anyway that's that's about it um it's the basis of so much yet i think there's improvements that have been made so that's what i think that's my impression of this uh but you know to each his own if you want something that will pretty much do anything you ask it to do and be an absolute complete thing that's that's going to be able to handle just about whatever you throw at it, then Debian might be the way to go if you're that kind of person. But if you're a person like me who's more shallow and wants something that just looks good and uh, works decently, um, then then I go a different direction. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening and um, comment about this. Tell me what you think about Debian and what you think your reasons might be for using this instead of maybe another distribution. Anyway, that's it. You have a great day and we'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.